What if I told you that one woman, working in a tiny shed with broken windows and second-hand equipment, discovered something so powerful it changed the world forever? What if I told you she fought poverty, prejudice, rejection, illness, and loss, yet still rose to become the only person in history to win two Nobel Prizes in two different sciences? This is not just a story of science, this is the story of a woman who refused to accept limits. Marie Curie, born Maria Sklodowska in Warsaw, Poland, grew up in a world where women were not allowed to dream big. They were told to stay silent, stay small, stay secondary. But Marie was different. She had a fire in her, a mind sharper than a blade, and a hunger for knowledge that no one could stop. She secretly attended illegal night schools where women were allowed to learn, risking everything for an education. Before she discovered radium, she first discovered her own strength. At 24, with almost no money, she moved alone to Paris. She studied by day and often went to bed hungry by night. Winters were so cold she slept in layers of clothes. But she never complained. She never gave up. She ranked first in her physics class, in a class full of men. In a world that doubted her, she chose to believe in herself. In a small broken shed, with her husband Pierre Curie, Marie began researching mysterious, glowing substances. Her hands trembled with exhaustion, her body ached, but her spirit was unbreakable. After years of relentless work, she discovered radium and polonium, elements that opened the door to modern medicine, cancer treatments, x-rays, and nuclear science. Marie Curie didn't just discover elements, she discovered possibilities. She became the first woman to win a Nobel Prize, but fame didn't come peacefully. She faced attacks and discrimination simply for being a woman in science. She was told she didn't belong, she was told she should step aside, but she stood tall, continued working, and then won a second Nobel Prize, something no one has ever repeated in two different sciences. She didn't just break the glass ceiling, she shattered it. During World War I, Marie used her knowledge to create mobile X-ray units, saving thousands of lives on the battlefield. She trained women, she led teams, she empowered others to stand where she once stood alone. Years of exposure to radiation weakened her body, but even as she grew ill, she kept working, kept teaching, kept inspiring, she gave her life for discovery, she gave her strength so others could heal. This is not just Marie Curie's story. This is the story of every woman who has been told you can't. Of every girl who dreams of doing something impossible, Marie Curie taught us. We must believe that we are gifted for something, and that this thing must be attained. She proved that leadership is not about being the strongest or the loudest, but about being unstoppable. She changed science. She changed history. She changed the world. And so can you.